JCB is an engineering powerhouse and the largest privately owned producer of manufacturing equipment in the world with annual revenues of around £4 billion. The company was founded by Joseph Cyril Bamford and has since grown to become a major player in the supply of machinery for the agricultural, construction and industrial industries. Let's take a look at how he did it. Bamford founded the company in a small garage in Utoxeter, Staffordshire, just after the end of the First World War in 1945. He created his first product, a tipping trailer, that was made using a one-pound welding kit and sold at a local market for £45. The trailer was made from surplus war supplies, with the sides made from old air raid shelters, wheels from a Hellcat fighter plane and surplus jeep axles from the war. His son Anthony was born on the same day as the sale of the trailer, motivating Bamford to develop new products. Joseph Bamford was born into an engineering family with the family business, Bamford's International Farm Machinery, focusing on equipment for the agricultural trade. He soon joined Alfred Herbert, based in Coventry, who were the UK's largest tool manufacturer. The Second World War interrupted work until he founded JCB in 1945. Bamford focused on what he could do best, being innovative and reinvesting into product development to create the latest manufacturing technologies. JCB still lives by many of these ideas introduced by their founder. He was never satisfied and was constantly looking for ways to improve his product, and Bamford also wore many hats within the business. He was an excellent marketer, which is a rare occurrence for an engineer utilising diggers to run stunts and providing tours of the award-winning factory. By 1947, Bamford moved the manufacturing facility a few miles down the road after locals complained about the noise from working on Sundays. He soon had six employees and again moved to a larger premises, this time to an old cheese factory in Rochester. The factory was spotted by JCB's first apprentice, Bill Hurst, and the site is now JCB's global headquarters and occupies 175 acres of land in Staffordshire. In the same year, Joseph Bamford launched the Major Loader, Europe's first industrial front-end loader. Engineered for versatility, it made light work of lifting, pushing and scooping to revolutionise the agricultural industry. The iconic yellow colour that is synonymous with JCB started in 1951 and in 1953, the iconic JCB logo appeared for the first time on the newly developed Backhoe Loader, which sold over 3,000 units by 1964. Bamford saw a lightweight excavator while on business in Norway and looked to improve the product. He attached a prototype excavator with hydraulic rams to the back of the front-end loader to create the JCB Backhoe Loader. The design brought hydraulic power to the construction industry, which would shape its future. Since then, the backhoe loader has been a mainstay for the company and they produce the world's fastest backhoe loader with a Chevrolet V8 engine, capable of a top speed of 72 miles an hour or 116 kilometers per hour. By 1962, the company showed the first up and over that has since been used as a marketing ploy, where a JCB lifts itself up on its two hydraulic arms to form a bridge while a car drives underneath. The stunt showed off the power, performance and versatility of the JCB machines while also being a spectacle for fans. By 1969, JCB exported over half their machines it manufactured and in recognition of this, the company received the Queen's Award for export. This award recognises companies who excel in international trade and JCB has since gone on to win 30 Queen's Awards since 1969. The following year, JCB opened for business in the US, setting up a base in White Marsh, Baltimore to tap into the rapidly growing US market. Founder Joseph Bamford retired in 1975 and his son Anthony took over as chairman and managing director at the age of only 30. In 1977, JCB introduced Telescopic Handler, which revolutionised the way loads were handled on construction sites and farms. The vehicle was more stable and precise than existing products on the market and provided improved visibility whilst on the job. In 1981, they introduced the 3CX Sightmaster and JCB invested £24 million into this new generation backhoe loader, which has become one of the company's best-selling products. In the very same year, the 100,000th backhoe loader rolled off the production line in Staffordshire. After a suggestion, 
by CEO Anthony Bamford. JCB produced the world's first high-speed tractor in 1991, which is capable of 80 miles an hour. £12 million was invested into the project and four years were spent developing prototypes. The tractor has since revolutionised the agricultural industry, allowing farmers to be more productive, especially for those who need to farm large areas in Canada and the Americas. To meet increasing demand, JCB opened a new £40 million factory in Staffordshire in 2008 and produced their one millionth machine in 2013. More recent highlights include securing the largest contract since Joseph Bamford started the company. The £142 million contract from the US Army saw JCB supply 1,600 forklifts to serve the Army's needs around the world. JCB has grown to be a rare British success story that remains a privately owned company capable of competing on the global stage. Such is the success of the backhoe loader one in every two sold around the world is a JCB. Currently, the company makes over 300 different machines and sells to over 150 countries, with factories located globally to service demand from the construction, agricultural and industrial industries. While the Bamfords, who still own the company, regularly take dividends, research and development is funded by profits, with £82.8 million being reinvested to fund new products and services in 2021. JCB has succeeded in a competitive industry by sticking with what works and seeing the world as their market by thinking globally. The company is always looking to improve products and continues to focus on investment in research and development to produce first-class solutions to the masses. JCB sold a record of 110,000 vehicles in 2021 and long waiting lists are in place for customers to get their hands on the coveted yellow machines. The company will no doubt continue the legacy of Joe Bamford and provide vital solutions to a wide number of industries.